How can berberine work if it only absorbs at less than 1%? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to the Ask Dr. Pickel Show. All right, so let's talk about berberine. I know you've seen a lot out there on berberine and I'll get comments or I've seen other videos or people saying, hey, you know, this only absorbs at less than 1%. This has just got to be all in people's heads. There's no way this stuff could work because it barely absorbs. You're just throwing your money down the toilet. So let's, let's find out a little more and talk about this. So berberine is what's called an isoquinolone alkaloid. You don't really need to know that. And if you've looked at it, if you've ever tasted straight berberine, it's pretty bitter. It's kind of like this uh, bright golden color. And it actually comes from the roots and stems of, uh, uh, well, stems and what are called rhizomes of certain plants. Uh, one of those is called Coptis chinesis. Maybe you've heard of it, Chinese golden thread. Another one, Hydrastis candinesis, uh, also known as golden seal. You've probably heard of that. And another place it comes from is Berberis aquifolium, which is the Oregon grape. Kind of interesting. And then there's one other source, uh, Berberis vulgaris and that's Barbary. You've probably heard of like Barbary root, maybe. Uh, you know, this berberine, it's been used for thousands of years in Chinese medicine and Ayurvedic medicine. So the, here's the back to that question. Berberine is still only absorbed less than 1%. So if I take a pill or a couple of pills or three pills or four pills, How's it even gonna help me if it's absorbed less than that? Isn't the majority of it just going in the toilet? Well, the thing about it is it's not just berberine that's in there. Within berberine, there are what are called metabolites. What the heck? Metabolites, let's talk about those and, and hopefully this will kind of answer the question. And to answer that question, we're gonna go to the research. We're gonna go to the Journal of Drug and Metabolic Review. And we see berberine here. We see metabolism of berberine and its contribution to the pharmacological effects. So what they're doing is they're saying, hey, you know, berberine, great stuff. It does have these amazing or give potential amazing results, but it only absorbs at less than 1%. So how can this happen? So as they look through this, they say, hey, wait a second. There are active metabolites in berberine. And what does that mean? Well, there's it's not just berberine. There's columbamine that's in it. There's berberubine that's in it. There's demethylene berberine that's in it. These also exhibit similar pharmacological effects by comparison with berberine. They are also antioxidants, anti-inflammatory, anti-tumor, antimicrobial, hepatoprotective, meaning they protect the liver, neuroprotective, they protect your nerves, hypolipidemic, they help with weight loss, fat loss, hypoglycemic effects, they get your blood sugar down. So these are the things that are working together with berberine, and this is how we get those effects. Again, this is what the research shows. So while berberine only has exhibited this bioavailability meaning absorption of about less than 1%, meaning when it gets to the liver, it basically gets kicked out in a big, uh, in a major way, except for a very small portion. So, but these metabolites, they've really demonstrated this ability to absorb and they are really along with what absorbs, what amount of berberine absorbs really create this action, this, this widespread impact of berberine uh, on the liver, on the kidneys, on the muscles, on the lungs, on the brain, on the immune system. So I think that helps to answer that question. And uh, hopefully this is some great information for you. God bless. And I'll talk to you next time.